Hey guys, welcome back to the Music Mindset channel. I'm about to do a series of videos on one hit wonders from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. This one is on the 70s, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. And Mr. V-Man is going to help me run down a top 10 list of some of the songs from the 70s that you heard of. And you probably never heard anything from the band after that. Now, one hit wonder is a term that is used to describe a musical artist or a band that achieves mainstream popularity and success with only one hit song. These artists typically enjoy a brief period of fame and recognition, often due to the commercial success of a single song, but they fail to replicate that success with subsequent releases. Now, there's several factors con that contribute to an artist being labeled as a one hit wonder lack of consistent success, limited catalog of hits, cultural impact. In other words, they may not leave a lasting legacy or have a substantial influence on the music industry beyond that single hit. Uh, fleeting fame. One hit wonders often experience a relatively short-lived period of fame. They may become household names for a brief time, but their popularity tends to wane quickly. And the biggest problem is just it's a big challenge to replicate success for various reasons. Artists labeled as one hit wonders often struggle to replicate the success of their breakthrough hit. This can be due to changing musical trends, personal challenges, or other factors. But the bottom line is if you're on this list tonight, you're considered a one hit wonder. So we're going to jump right into it. Mr. V man, take over for me, buddy. Thanks brother. Mr. Mindset. Hey there music time travelers, I'm here and ready to take you on a groovy journey back to the 70s. How much do you remember? Well today we're unraveling the tales behind some iconic one-hit wonders that echo through the disco ball lit halls of that unforgettable era. So buckle up, hit play, and let's dive into the magic of the 70s. Kicking off our countdown is a tale from the Windy City. The Night Chicago Died by Paper Lace in 1974 spins a fictional yarn set against the backdrop of Chicago. This was a pop rock narrative that etched itself into the charts, making Paper Lace a household name. But, oh, the struggles that followed as they tried to break free from that one-hit wonder label. At number 9, we've got B.W. Stevenson crooning My Maria in 1973. This was a soulful cover song that skyrocketed into fame. But, as the story often goes, reaching the top is one thing, yet staying there quite another. B.W. Stevenson found the road to another hit a bit rocky, solidifying his place in the one-hit wonder pantheon. Now, at number 8, we've got Don't Pull Your Love by Hamilton, Joe Frank and Reynolds in 1971. This was a soft rock ballad that soared to the top. Unfortunately, internal conflicts pulled the band apart, leaving them with a stellar hit but forever draped in the one-hit wonder cloak. We're now cruising into number 7 with Starland Vocal Band's Afternoon Delight in 1976. Now, contrary to what people thought, this was an ode to, well, let's keep it in the PG mode. Let's just say sexually suggestive vibes filled the air, yet breaking free from that image proved challenging for these harmony weavers. This left them with a case of a delightful afternoon and a one-hit wonder legacy. Now we're stepping into the moonlight at number 6 with King Harvest in 1972. The song Dancing in the Moonlight became an instant classic, but alas, the band couldn't replicate the enchantment. Internal struggles dimmed their moonlit dance, securing their one-hit wonder status. Rocking it at number 5 is Norman Greenbaum's Spirit in the Sky in 1969 going into the 70s. This was an iconic gospel rock fusion that soared to heights. Yet, Norman's journey onwards didn't quite match the spiritual ascension of this hit, leaving him in the hallowed halls of one-hit wonder greatness. Here we go sailing into number 4 with Looking Glass and Brandy, You're a Fine Girl of 1972. This song was a maritime tale of love and longing that tugged at our hearts. Looking Glass disbanded, leaving Brandy as their musical legacy, forever etched in the annals of one-hit wonder history. Here comes the sun at number three with Mungo Jerry's In the Summertime from 1970. This was a feel-good anthem that painted a vivid picture of carefree days. But, oh, the challenge of catching lightning in a bottle twice proved elusive. Mungo Jerry found themselves basking in the glory of a one-hit wonder. 
Let's slide into number two with Rupert Holmes and A Tale of Escapades, Escape, the Pina Colada song of 1979. Yeah, this was a storytelling masterpiece that etched itself into our memories. But despite Holmes' lyrical prowess, the charts remained elusive, sealing his fate as a one-hit wonder. And now, we are at the crescendo of our 70s symphony. This song was, and still is extremely popular in the world, especially at a good party. But it is quite surprising that the group could never replicate the popularity and success. At number one on our list is the funky beats of Wild Cherries play that funky music. While performing at the 2001 Club on the north side of Pittsburgh for a primarily black audience, a patron asked band member Beatle during a break, are you going to play some funky music, white boys? Inspired, Parisi swiftly grabbed a pen and order pad, crafting the song in about five minutes. This became the chant in the hit song, Play That Funky Music White Boy. The lyrics vividly narrate the challenges of a hard rock band navigating the disco era. Notably, American rapper Vanilla Ice later released a song featuring his interpretation of Play That Funky Music. Interestingly, the songwriter, Robert Parisi, was not initially credited, resulting in a later copyright infringement lawsuit where Parisi was awarded $500,000. Subsequently, the song was reissued as its own single with new lyrics and remix drums, reaching number 4 on the US Billboard Hot 100 and number 10 in the UK. The accompanying music video received substantial rotation on MTV Europe. Yet, it is still considered a one-hit wonder. So there you have it all you time travelers. A journey through the 70s, exploring the tales of these one-hit wonders. Which one of the songs resonated with you the most? So that's it. One hit wonder. I was kind of one hit wonder myself. Uh, but we'll talk about that some other time. But uh, that's it. A one hit wonder. You, you had a big song. Everybody loved it. Everybody knows it. They'll know it for the rest of eternity. But the one thing about it, that's all they'll know about you because that's all you were able to do. You weren't really able to replicate your success. So now you're in that category as one and done. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Check us out on the next one. Uh, look for the one on the 60s and the 80s coming up. And I appreciate you guys once again for checking out the Music Mindset channel. 